Verses Upon the Burning of Our House by Anne Bradstreet In silent night, when rest I took, for sorrow near I did not look. I wakened was with thundering noise and piteous shrieks of dreadful voice. That fearful sound of fire and fire, let no man know, is my desire. I starting up, the light did spy, and to my God my heart did cry, to straighten me in my distress, and not to leave me succorless. Then coming out, behold a space, the flame consume my dwelling place. And when I could no longer look, I blessed his name that gave and took, that laid my goods now in the dust, yea, so it was, and so t'was just. It was his own, it was not mine, far be it that I should repine. He might of all justly bereft, but yet sufficient for us left. When by the ruins oft I passed, my sorrowing eyes aside did cast, and here and there the places spy, where oft I sat and long did lie. Here stood that trunk, and there that chest, there lay that store I counted best. My pleasant things in ashes lie, and then behold no more shall I. Under thy roof no guest shall sit, nor at thy table eat a bit. No pleasant talk shall e'er be told, nor things recounted done of old. No candle e'er shall shine in thee, nor bridegroom's voice e'er heard shall be. In silence ever shalt thou lie. Adieu, adieu, all's vanity. Then straight I gin my heart to chide, and did thy wealth on earth abide? Didst fix thy hope on mouldering dust? The arm of flesh didst make thy trust? Raise up thy thoughts above the sky, that dunghill mists away may fly. Thou hast a house on high erect, framed by that mighty architect, with glory richly furnished, stands permanent though this be fled. It's purchased and paid for too by him who hath enough to do. A price so vast as is unknown, yet by his gift is made thine own. There's wealth enough, I need no more. Farewell my pelf, farewell my store. The world no longer let me love, my hope and treasure lies above.